What's happening everybody? Eric here, back at you with a brand new video. Now, it's often been asked, probably since the beginning of time, who does it better? Store-bought or homemade? Well, in this video, we're about to find out. So, I'm gonna be purchasing three of the most popular store-bought foods that exist and putting them up against three lower calorie slash healthier option recipes for those same foods that I found online. And then, we're gonna pick a winner for each one. But anyways, I'm getting hungry, so let's get started. Well, round number one is about to begin, but before we dive into any of that, the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna be starting with the store-bought items first. Now, if you're curious why we're going that route, it's because I've pretty much had them all before, so I know what they taste like. So just in the event that any of these homemade items are a home run, which, I mean, some of them very well could be because well, I made them. <laughs> just kidding, I'm not that cocky. But yeah, I figure if we start with the store-bought items first, we're setting the bar at a fair level, and it's fair comparison. But yeah, without any further ado, we're gonna start off with the first item up on the day. Any guesses? Yeah, that's right. We're starting with donuts. Oh. I mean, come on, you guys already knew. So I got half dozen from Tim Hortons. Now I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna eat all of them, but we'll see how it goes. I got a lot of food to eat today. But yeah, we're gonna start off with Clean palette, old fashioned plain. Cheers. I mean, you really can't beat classic, just fried dough. Absolutely delicious. So just out of curiosity, comment below and let me know what your favorite type of donut is. All right, back down, get a little sweetness in here. So this is a honey dip. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, so that's one bite this. That was my dog sneezing, by the way, if you heard that. <laughs> so you guys already saw the shots of the donuts I made, so an easy transition right here. Chocolate glazed. I don't know what it is. 
when it comes to chocolate, it doesn't translate well to donuts for me. No idea why. I haven't shown you guys any of the inside here. The camera will focus. There we go. I love cake donuts. Mmm. All right. So, yeah, there's three left. Trust me, they're not going to go to waste, but we're going to move on to the homemade ones here because they smell amazing. Sorry, I should have pulled that in for the full shot, but I didn't want to talk over it. Made a louder slide with the slide sound with the plate. But yeah, these are the homemade protein donuts. So you guys would have saw me making them, but I'm actually gonna put the recipe up on the screen for you real quick. Just in case you guys wanna make them yourself. But yeah, these are like 100 calories per, comparison to like double that, at least with the Tim Hortons donuts. So let's try them out, shall we? Not bad. Hmm. Finish it off first before we decide. So in this recipe, it actually comes with a glaze you can make to put on top. So that might actually make these taste even better, but it almost feels like a, like a brownie and like donut form. It's like a moist cake donut. Wow. You can taste that it's a healthier option. All right, so we have three of those donuts. I'll match it, have three of these. Smells like Pac-Man. Should have made the glaze for them. Plan ahead better next time, Eric. Doink. <laughs> All right, three of those are down. So final verdict here, are we going with store-bought or are we going with homemade? Honestly, I'm going to give that one a tie. Now the reason I'm not picking a clear winner is Tim Hortons donuts are absolutely delicious, but I also feel I gave the homemade donuts an unfair advantage by not adding the glaze to them. I bet you if I added the glaze to those, they probably would have won. But anyways, I'm gonna take a quick sip of this cashew milk here. And I'll see you guys shortly with round number two. Time to start round number two. Figured we'd take things in a little bit more of a savory route this time around. So, as you guys saw from the shots, we're starting off with 
Pizza. Pizza. So, again, like with the donuts, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the whole pizza, but this thing looks absolutely delicious. So we'll see how things go. Hot and ready from Little Caesars. I'm ready. I'm not going to say I'm hot. That just comes off cocky. So, cheers. Oh, yeah. Whoa. So good. Seriously, like, um, but this thing for the value, like five bucks before tax, you can't go wrong. Should have got some like ranch to dip this though. That would have been the move. Yeah, again, forgot the glaze, forgot the ranch. Another slice here, because why not? Mm. One bite? Yeah, let's one bite it. <clears throat> All right, so we did three donuts. We're gonna at least do three slices of pizza. Mmm. Hmm, if somebody really likes pizza, would they call themselves an aficionado? All right, last one. All right, so again, definitely not gonna go to waste. But we're gonna introduce the homemade item, which is a pita pizza. So I'm gonna show you guys that right there. So basically this is, and you can do this in a few different kind of variations. I've done this on like a flatbread before, but this is just on a like whole wheat pita. And all you're gonna do is tomato sauce, just plain tomato sauce, some shredded cheese. I use light shredded cheese too half a cup of that, it's only about 120 calories, and then some turkey pepperonis, which is about 80 calories for 22, and I didn't even use 22 on here. So yeah, fold this in half. Let's see how she tastes. Wow, that is really good. So it's definitely a little bit lighter than pizza. You could definitely add a lot of like herbs and spices to this. Still really good. All right. Now, because this isn't really a huge item, I'm just gonna finish it. It's always the issue with the beards when you have a beard it catches stuff automatically, whether you want it to or not. So you always got to do the, is there sauce in my beard? Mm -hmm. At least I'm not like Peter Griffin, have that bird in my beard that like, mm -hmm. <laughs> comment below if you get that reference. Oh. All right, that's it. All right, so that's all down. Just gonna crack some health and fitness here. Cook zero. One second. Oh yeah. All right, so that is all down. Verdict time. Store bought, homemade. Which is better? I can't have a tie twice in a row, as much as I want to. So I'm gonna go store-bought on that one. Now, the reason I'm going store-bought is I probably could have seasoned this a little bit better. And even though I thought this was really good, if you're craving a pizza and you just don't have the calories to go out and have a 1,500 or 2,000 calorie pizza, 
this is a great option for you. And you can definitely beef it up a little bit. You can throw some more veggies on there if you're someone who likes a lot of vegetables on their pizza. I personally don't. I just like cheese and pepperoni or even just plain cheese. I love that Kevin McAllister pizza, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, two rounds down, one left to go. We've had sweets, we've had savory. Which one are we going back to? Only one way to find out. See you in a second. Didn't notice you there. Well, sun's going down, if you couldn't tell. So I think that means it's time we wrap this up and go with the last item up on the video, which is ice cream. Cool. So yeah, I'm not a huge ice cream fan, if I'm being completely honest, but had to go with it because not only is it a great option for a dessert since we've had, well, we had sweets with donuts, but then we went to pizza. So top off with dessert. Ice cream seemed about one of the best choices. So we got a maple crunch flavor from our lovely friends at Chapman's. You guys saw the shots there. I'd keep it out, but by the time I'm done this, I don't want it to turn into ice cream soup. If you guys seen the ice cream local versus chain video, uh, I'm gonna toss a link up on the screen here if you haven't. Um, you guys know about me and ice cream soup. Doesn't end well. So we're gonna dive in here and try this out. Cheers. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's good. The maple crunch, there's actually something in here. Maybe it's like chunks of caramel or something like that. Definitely a crunch, but you get a good maple flavor. I think it's like a vanilla mixed with like a maple. You guys know I don't waste time and I eat quickly, but there's a reason why I don't eat ice cream. When it comes to eating quick and mixing that with ice cream, doesn't always end well. Oh, all right, so I got one more bite left here. A little bit of soup. All right, so that's all down. That was really good. Time to follow it up with the homemade recipe. Chocolate protein ice cream. So as you guys saw from the shots, I'm also gonna put the recipe on the screen for you right here. So you can go ahead and give it a try. This is supposed to fill you up really, really well. I know there's tons of recipes of this online. Lots of other like fitness influencers and stuff swear by this, Greg Doucette, Will Tennyson. Um, this isn't as thick as they typically make it. Don't go there. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna try this out. I'm not just gonna sit here and play with it all day. Again, don't go there. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. It's not bad. Not overly sweet. Okay, so I think for the trick for this one is, I didn't put enough ice. I think you're supposed to put like two like 16 ounce like blender bottle kind of cups worth of ice in there. I wouldn't say this is a home run. 
couple more scoops here. That's what we got left. We got one or two scoops left. I think I'm gonna invite an old friend to finish this off. That's right. Hey, maple dip. Told you they weren't gonna go to waste. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, do a little one of these. <laughs> oh yeah, <clears throat> much, much better. Mm. All right, so we got one more scoop here. Cheers. All right, all done. Verdict time, last one. Store-bought, homemade. Think you guys know, based off of my reactions there, how this one's gonna go. Yeah, store-bought. Again, I'm not the biggest ice cream fan in the world. It's good, it's just something I don't have super often. But Chapman's hit a home run with that maple crunch. Love my maple. As you can see, I brought out the uh, the maple dip there at the end from Tim Hortons. But anyways, my main point of this video was to just give you guys some options and to see if you can make it better on your own, especially if you're someone trying to cut the calories back a little bit. But anyways, that is gonna be a wrap for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Please just remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Toss this video a good old fashioned thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to hit that channel bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video of mine. And we'll see you in the next video.